this week on New Homes Guide TV. Renovating for a profit, Sasha takes us through her latest success story. Breathe some life into your home with our best design advice yet. And the stunning Perth mansion crowned the best home in Australia. Hit it out of the park with this one. Welcome to World of Renovation. You're always whinging about what I do. I want to show him up any chance I can. G'day WA, I hope you are ready for another half hour of building giddy up transformation and inspiration. Now, if you've ever wanted to make a mint in the property market, who hasn't, then you are in the right place. Up first this week, our experts spill the beans on how you can flip for profit without hurting the hip pocket. If you have a home that's unrenovated, you're sitting on a little untapped pot of gold. If you go to sell, people are going to give you a rock bottom dollar if it's not renovated because they've got the hard work to do. So if you can go in and renovate it or you get the experts in, we come and renovate it in a number of weeks, furnish it, style it, putting on the market, you will flip it for a profit. When I was 21, my grandfather said to me, buy a house when you're young and you get 10 steps ahead. I had two weeks on my annual leave to renovate the first house that I bought. So I mustered all the trades together, made them work as a team, which was unheard of in the industry, renovated an entire apartment in two weeks, shot the value up over 100K, sold it for a profit. And I've been doing this ever since then. So the Perth property prices plummeted when the GFC hit and I knew that I had this rapid renovation system up my sleeve and the ability to raise value even into the hundreds of thousands by renovating homes, making them look a million dollars but not having to cost it. Every year at World of Renovation we help hundreds of clients add value to their home and in this market you can make some good money. One of my biggest projects was a three storey home in Mosman Park which I renovated in just seven weeks. Increased the value by about 30% um, after costs. If you can get a cosmetic home that doesn't need a lot of structure work, inside, outside, landscaping, it's going to cost you less for the renovation. So you need something with good bones. It's just a little bit run down. You can go and give it a whole new facelift. At this present moment in time, we're in a, a slow market. So there's a lot of good buys out there um, and certainly the potential to make money. Come to a place like World of Renovation, Million Dollar Makeovers or the Renovation Company, use our expert interior designers, our architects on site, our trade base, we've got amazing supplies, we've got all the products on our fingertips, so when you come to the experts we can guide people through the process, we can stop them from making mistakes. If you love New Homes Guide TV, find us on social media. Like what you've seen on New Homes Guide TV so far? Well, why not be part of the show next season? We'd love to have you on board. If you can see your business or product being featured on New Homes Guide TV, get in touch at inquiries at newhomesguidetv.com.au. Or send a short video of the home renovation or DIY project you've been waiting to tackle. You never know, we might end up on your doorstep with all the inspiration and help you need. Happy renovating. Coming up on New Homes Guide TV, don't sign anything yet. We've got more of the great tips that you'll want to hear before building. Building a home is a pretty exciting experience and a huge investment, financially, emotionally and physically. Can leave you feeling pretty exhausted too by the end of it all and there's a lot that you might miss. So what really goes on in those few months where you're waiting for your keys? Let's have a look. Right now I'm standing in a Home Group WA roof and I'm here to talk about the third major structure of a home, 
your roof frame. It is critical that we get this stage right. But you've got to think about it. This is the roof over your head. This is the shelter. So it needs to be installed to the Australian standard because wind conditions, the downforce of a roof, things like that can cause issues later on in your roof. This isn't an easy job. Roll at Home Group WA is a building supervisor. I'm also a registered builder and a qualified carpenter. My role is to go around the jobs, make sure everything's complying with Australian standards. Once the clients select what type of roof cover they want, Home Group WA get an engineer to engineer how to construct the roof to suit that type of roof cover. For example, a sheet metal roof is a lighter weight compared to your tiled roof, so the roof will be designed and constructed accordingly. We need to make sure that all of our tie downs are installed to the perimeter of our building. We need to make sure that all of our internal roof framing members are tied down at the base of the struts, the top of the struts, and all of our connections as per our engineer details. So when I'm checking, I'm checking ceiling joist spacings, I'm checking rafter spacings, I'm checking strut spacings, I'm checking under purlins, uh, tie downs, nails used. By the time the roof goes on, you get a good idea of what your home is going to look like. But there's still work to be done. Home Group WA are now offering a new type of wall lining to clients for their homes. It's called drywall lining. Over east, they've been doing it forever and a day. And that's what we're using here now in WA. So it's not new and it's lasted the test of time. And the advice from the experts is... I highly recommend this product um, to all of our clients. I've actually installed it in my own home. The reason for that is because we can provide our client a better quality finish to their home. We can give them a straighter wall. I can give them the option to be able to paint straight away rather than waiting three months. Don't forget the plumbing, electrical work and all the little touches which make your house a home. And finally, you get the keys to your new home. We don't just forget about our clients after key handover, so we still provide them with maintenance services. We're still around. Any issues or queries, they can contact us. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy your Australian dream. So why not give Home Group WA a call today? For more information, go to newhomesguide.com.au. This family home, tucked away in Darch, is full of surprises. Every room seems to have a different feature, like the kids' bedrooms, which all have study nooks. And how unique is this feature? Built-in wine racks in the hallway. It's been uh, inspired by um having a nice glass of wine, it's the Malbec. Um, so uh, it was really designed to have uh, individual quarters, basically a, a parent's wing, a kid's zone, and really about the entertaining. So having that nice glass of wine over the pool, entertaining into the kitchen, and, and having that internal ambience. Inspired Homes say they created this home to suit every member of the family. But before we check out the rest of the home, let's find out a bit more about the company. We just had our 10 year anniversary, um, and so we started as a family owned business um, and we've grown that to uh, about 35 staff um, and we seem to be um, you know, paving our way into the industry. We deal with custom homes, uh, kind of one-off projects where we sit down with the client in a detailed environment, uh, all the way through to uh, house and land packages, uh, turnkey developments, uh, we also do multi-units uh, and we also have the lightweight division. The team is beaming after all the hard work was recognised at this year's state HIA CSR awards. Taken out of excellence in service, which is uh, an amazing award to have an accolade on. Yeah, we've also achieved the um, Livable Kitchen Award this year, um, and that's a lovely award to win, especially with the opportunities in relation to the livable home space. Inspired Homes say they like to think outside the box with their designs, and have a great team which bring their visions to life. Proud of the team at Inspired Homes. Um, we handpick all our staff members and they're very passionate about what they do. Um, they're skilled in their um, particular roles and um, that assists obviously the business and, and each individual achieve their goals. As you can see, this home's got some really cool features. One of the most impressive features is what you can't see, a nine plus star energy rating. It was built with a higher density brickwork, so it retains the, the thermal heat inside. Um, it has double glazing throughout. Um, we've got the permis cell insulation um, and it functions off the grid so uh, it's powered by the Tesla battery. And it doesn't stop there. The tapwork, plumbing and landscaping all contribute to this rating. 
So not only does it look good, it's great for your hip pocket. So yeah, it's really, it's lovely to build homes like this that um, you're proud of and it achieves everything that you imagine. So when you walk in, it, it's just like you want to move in, but unfortunately you can't move into every home that you design and build. To find out more about Inspired Homes, go to their website. After the break, Carol and Russell are back to fire up the renovator in you. Oh, this one here reminds me of Carol the bush chook. I look like an emu. I'm back here at Winning Appliances with Nick from ASCO. Great to see you again. You too, Chloe. So what are we going to be doing today? I'm going to talk to you today about the ASCO Element Steam Oven. It's a combination steam oven, so essentially it's a normal oven and a steam oven put together. Nick says these ovens are the perfect example of multifunctional cutting edge technology. And to prove that, today we are doing something a little different. One of the particular functions that this oven has in it is called sous vide cooking. Okay, um, essentially what sous vide is, is it's to cook something under vacuum or you know a sealed container. So what that allows us to do is cook for a long period of time at a specific temperature to get the best resulting food and the best texture as well. Sounds complicated, right? Well, it's not. Nick explains. With the vacuum drawer, you put your piece of meat in the plastic bag, you seal it in the vacuum drawer, and what the vacuum drawer is sucks all the air out, then it seals that plastic bag. You then take that plastic bag, put it inside the oven. Using the sous vide function, you can set a temperature or degree specific temperature. It's that simple. The sleek touch screen will guide you the whole way through the process. And Nick says the results speak for themselves. So what we're going to do is just cut this bag open. We've got a really hot teppanyaki plate, which is sitting on top of an induction cooktop. All right, and we're just going to seal both sides of this to get that lovely caramelised coating. The unique interface is so intuitive. It will inspire you to try new things. You interact with a full colour touchscreen with the most frequently used functions immediately accessible. You can select a dish from the list of 160 auto programs and then adjust weight and intensity if necessary. Well, steam cooking is great because it allows you to do things like breads and pastries and get really nice results because obviously the moisture is staying inside that oven. But let's check out how that steak is going. This is what we want to try and achieve with sous vide cooking. This is a nice piece of medium well done steak, but it's got that lovely pink all the way through. Thanks so much for your time today, Nick. It was great to see you again. Good to see you too, Chloe. Catch you later. To see all of our episodes, go to newhomesguide.com.au. Up next, our favourite renovating couple have got a few tricks to share with you and this is pretty handy stuff to know when you want to turn your home from bland into grand. I've told her that we're going to come away for a U-scape, little U-scape weekend and um, she thinks we're going to a resort but boy, I've got plans for her. I'm looking forward to a bit of pampering. Um, lunching, maybe some dinner, wine tasting. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Yeah, well, I told you I was surprising you. Yep, here we go. It's a garden centre. <laughs> so seriously, Russell, um, what, what are we doing here? Remember I told you it was a U-scape? I thought you said it was an escape. <laughs> no, U-scape. So we're at U-scape yep. in Bustleton and then we're going home. Yes, exactly. That's really good, Russ. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, no this, is a, this was a day trip. Yeah, well, look, we're down in Bustleton and this Uscape, it's amazing. The variety they have from the pots, the plants, all of the landscaping supplies and the fire pits, it's um, a really amazing spot. Russ, you're interested uh, in the fire I pit. I am. So how does this guy make these? Like, I couldn't find any welds on them. No, 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 because it, it, it is a ball. Um, and in there he draws a pattern out and then it's plasma cut. Oh right, it's, it's sensational. Uscape has got everything, it's got mature trees, it's got pots, it's got soil, it's got a cafe that, that sell the most amazing juices and coffees and it's such a nice environment. I'm really in awe of what they've done. They've created this right in the middle of Bustleton industrial area. 
and it's such a, it's such a surprise. I love this pot. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is amazing. It's beautiful in the middle of a green lawn, isn't it? A green lawn or a courtyard, courtyard. or yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you think it would fit in the back of our Holden Commodore? I definitely don't think it would fit in the back of the Commodore, but we can deliver. You deliver. So, yes, fantastic. Deliver. Twenty-six bays of sand, soil, mulches. Bricky sand, there's some great beach sand down there, it's so clean. Water fountains and trees and bonsais, they're really on trend with what is needed and what people want at the moment. Like these beautiful large water features and the, the dominant coloured pots and it's just, it's amazing, it really is. And also you've got heaps of the um, water tanks that they cut up, so you can use those for your herb garden, so they're really good. Oh, this one here reminds me of Carol, a bush chook. It's a ripper. Cheaper than Carol's too. I looked like an emu. A bit looked like Carol, that one. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell her that. He said I look like a steel emu. What the heck's a resemblance? I haven't got a long neck and a big fat body and, and skinny stick legs. What's he talking about? I really want to take this Christmas tree home with me today. Do you think it'll fit in the back of the station wagon? If you can lie it down, um, we'll wrap the top of it so it doesn't spill soil. Oh, okay. Yeah. We've had to remodel the back of the car, but I knew it would fit. Thank you. That's sensational. Thanks very it's like much. a top car. It's a bit fancy, isn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful. So, Russell, I'm really glad you brought me here because um, I've I love it, it's awesome, and I've spent a lot of money. How much? A lot. <laughs> At least two nights accommodation <laughs> and a wine tour. <laughs> and a massage. A wine tour, yeah. The Mako, a I should have gone to that resort because she spent a lot of money here. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff here and the bonus about it all, we've got a Christmas tree and I don't have to go shopping. Up next, the stunning Perth mansion crowned the best home in Australia. I'm at this beachside home, which is far from ordinary. It's taken out not one, but two NBA national awards. So let's go find out what makes this house so incredible. From the moment you walk in the door, you can feel something special about this home. This home is the Master Builders Australian Home of the Year. A pretty impressive title for a home that went up against 6,000 entries across the nation. We at Spadicini strive to build quality, you know, and, um, and it's evident in the amount of the awards that we have won. Um, we're not the fastest builder and, and we don't want to be the fastest builder because generally if you're the fastest builder, you're, you're compromising on quality, I believe. You know, so we, we, we take our time, we've got our set trades and, um, and we, we reassure our clients we'll give you the best home we can possibly Build. And the company also won the National MBA Builder of the Year Award. And Rob says it's because of their attention to detail. So, you know, detail is something we specialise in. You know, um, this particular home is very detailed from the ceilings to the floors to the tiling, you know, to the stonework to the cabinet works. It's an extremely detailed home. So, Rob, there's a lot of beautiful things about this home, but what's your favourite part? Oh, look, this home's got a lot of special features, but my favourite part of this home is up upstairs here where we are in this zone. It's an upside down home, mm -hmm. but the clients actually love this area because they've got the beautiful views of the ocean, you know, they've got their dining, they've got their kitchen, and also the family room. So everybody can congregate through here and there's plenty of room to move around, talk, and yeah, it's great. And, and for me, this works beautifully. There's a lot of things that you don't see in this home that it has, and I'll give you an example. It's got underfloor heating right throughout the entire home. It's got facial recognition. It's got smart wiring, you know, it's got, um, you know, underwater storage tanks, which has got, you know, potable and non-potable water. You know, it, it's, it's a cutting edge home, you know, and we had so much fun putting it together. Rob is so dedicated to making his homes perfect, he even custom designs furniture to suit. Let's look at what we've done here. You know, the actual kitchen, we've got the Pietro Grigio stone here on the kitchen benches, but it also picks up on the custom made furniture that we've had done. And we do a lot of custom made furniture now as well for our clients, so that everything does, you know, blend and suit. Every single home that we've put into the awards has either been a finalist or winner, so we're very proud to have that track record. And the company is breaking records. 
exactly one Australian Home of the Year as well, HIA, back in, I think it was June, July. So, and we took out on the weekend Australian Home of the Year for Master Builders Association as well. So that's never been done by any builder in Australia ever, winning HIA and MBA in the same year for two separate homes. So we're pretty proud that we've achieved something that nobody else has ever done before. To find out more about Spadicini Homes, head to their website. That's all from us, guys. I am looking forward to next week's show. I hope you are too. Catch you then.